Hey everyone, it's Liz the Frugal Libertarian and it is a gorgeous day out right now. It's like 70 something degrees where I am and I want to go run around outside. I wanted to make a short video for you guys today because every so often there is this whole public opinion backlash about manufactured goods coming from factories overseas and how those people live on slave wages, they're treated so poorly, some countries have child labor, we should boycott, we should you know, not, we can't support that, we need to stand up to these companies and tell them to stop, their profits do not mean human lives, like that kind of thing. The problem is, is this is severely misguided. I don't think anybody in the world would advocate that child labor is a good thing, or that sweatshop labor is a good thing. But, the evil you know is better than the evil you don't. The problem with getting this outrage and then reacting to it in that kind of manner where it's like let's sh you know we're not buying any more of that product or we're not buying any more clothes from that designer until they change well what happens to the people who work in these factories if those factories close because that's what's going to happen you refusing to buy the product which is your choice everybody can vote with their dollar but you choosing not to buy the product doesn't mean they're going to go, oh, let's go pay more money to someone else so that we can get our customers back. Most of the time, they're just going to shut down operations, and that's the end of it, and the factory closes. There's actually been a, lot, a few studies done on both so-called sweatshop labor, meaning harsher working conditions, what we would perceive as little pay, and child labor and these factories and what happens to the factory workers themselves and the communities after they're closed. While these factories are open, those people have money to support themselves. We sit there and go, oh my god, a dollar an hour, that's slave labor. But they're not living the way we live. It costs a lot of money to be an American. Um, it costs even more if you're somebody with credit card debt and other financial issues, it can be more expensive. It also is more expensive depending on where you live in this country. But places like that with these factories, the cost of living is not what it is here. These are not people with cable TV and cable internet who are driving brand new cars and have a car payment and insurance. These are people who are eking out a living that now have income. The child laborers are not working there because their parents are mean, lazy people who are sitting on their butts at home while the kids are doing the work because haha ha, we have kids so we'll make money off of them, haha. Ha. Usually children go to factories to work not because they are, because not because the parents are mean but because the parents are working but it's not enough money, because the parent can't work, if the parent is sick, if they're disabled, if they're not able to find employment, um, or if a parent is dead, these kids will go to work. Now the public outcry in the United States for shut these factories down, this is horrible, we should get rid of it, you really hurt the community as well because while these factories exist, around them grows small businesses. You have people selling food, people doing things like shoe repair or car repair, little shops will start to open up, vendors will bring carts in, and the community starts to grow around the factory. Now if we were leaving this alone, eventually the workers themselves would start demanding more pay they would start demanding better conditions, basically like what happened here and in every other already industrialized nation, they would start at the bottom and then work their way up. And once the workers got some form of power to themselves and the community around the factory had grown, they would start demanding higher pay and everyone around would have their lives bettered by it. However, if the reaction is, we'll shut the factory down, you're really condemning those people to a really awful life. The people who are opening up the businesses around the factory are going to lose their businesses as well because if there's no factory workers to sell lunch to, there's nobody to sell lunch to. So they go out of business too. Um, studies have shown that children who have, or either just removed from the factory, 
or have the factory close, these children either starve to death, make a living doing garbage foraging, which really, not any better, or they go into child prostitution. Removing the source of income does not remove the need for income. Just because we sit here and say, well, children, all children should have a childhood, they should be going to school and playing and doing this and doing that, yes, they should, but we aren't them. We would like that to happen. I would love for that to happen. But I also don't want a child working in a factory to turn into a child prostitute. I don't think that's a better move. But that's kind of the outrage where it goes, where people, what they want to happen. They want the factory to close down because they don't like the conditions. They don't like the labor force. It doesn't help them. The only thing this does is make the person who sat there and said boycott this brand feel better about themselves. They can sit there and go, we did it. We stopped them. We saved those child laborers. Now they can go have a childhood. You know, now their big mean parents that make them work are going to let them go to school. No, if they didn't have money to send them to school before, they didn't have money when they had no income to send them to school now. There is a process of industrialization. We went through it. Most of industrialized Europe went through it. You start with these factories that have not great working conditions, not a lot of pay, but people need those jobs and need that income and they move around the factory and communities develop around the factory. And then the workers get to the point where they're either skilled enough or strong enough and they have enough community support to demand better conditions and higher wages. Same thing with child labor. At a certain point, the society as a whole will say, hey, we don't like this anymore. The parent can earn that same wage or the parent's going to earn a higher wage so we don't need the child in the factory. The reality is in the United States, child labor was virtually gone in factories before it was made illegal at the federal level because of just local attitudes towards it. People at the, again, the community fighting against it, parents not wanting to send their kids to work and not needing them to go to work in the factory. It all kind of comes up and grows organically. And that's the way it has to be done even today in these other places that are just starting the process of industrialization. They need to go through the growing pains. You're not going to get a factory popping up in the middle of nowhere that's going to pay the equivalent of American salary with a full benefits package and have all these rules in place. It's just not going to happen and that's not the way it has happened. We would not be where we are today if we had not gone through that. And by the way, this isn't just a capitalist argument. It's, it's not. It's not a let's get the cheapest good, you know, at the, you know, make the largest profit yet be able to sell it cheaply. Um, it's not even that kind of an argument. It really has to do with pretending you know better for a community you're not a part of and your decision to act like you know better and to act on your feelings actually damages that community more so. It's like every so often you'll see Facebook and other social media posts where people are outraged at one company or one brand or one clothing designer or one um, corporations, you know, chain store about the fact that they use factories that use, that either pay what they can, what the person sitting there saying this considers too little amount of money, which again, for the people working there, it's clearly a good amount of money. They're willing to go and work there and it benefits them enough that they're willing to work there. Um, but they're sitting there saying, you know, they shouldn't work. This is wrong. We should, it should shut down. And I don't think those people give enough thought to the effects of what they're advocating for. So just something to think about. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to try to find um, the website that gives the details of the studies that have been done on these kind of communities and these factory workers and what happens to them after. Um, but if you have anything to add, put it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you had not have not done so. I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.